Yo, what's going on with y'all, man? Miss man, 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 man. What's going on with y'all, man? Make sure y'all like, come subscribe. So tell me right to uh the moment Cox realized a body is in the house. <laughs> Who has a body in their own house? But um, make sure y'all like, come subscribe, bro. Turn on post notices. I don't even care about the comments for real. I I care about the likes, the the um subscribers and the um the post notes because like honestly, bro, when I post, when y'all see me post. It's going to hit different when my views get like a hundred views in like five minutes. You know what I'm saying? Let's get right into it though. In Florida, on May 5th, 2023, deputies were dispatched oh, to a welfare check on a woman who hadn't been seen for several days. Did it smell when you went to the door? Yeah, there's a door on the right on the opposite side. Did you see somebody? The other side reeks bad. Hello? Sheriff's office. Somebody in there? Hello? Then I'll bring you back or whatever. That's just it. The other door smells like a seven. Broken window. This place is a disaster. Well, this place is a goddamn disaster. You smell it? No, I do. I don't know what's coming out of there. Yeah, just ask the neighbors, I guess, if they see anybody. Is it Reese right there, Rick? No, no. What the heck? Yeah, that's all. Let's go to the neighbor. The one next to us over here and see if they see anybody over here in a minute. Have you seen Lainey recently? The girl? Yeah, next door neighbor. Just the guys over there. When's the last time you've seen them? Him, he usually walks up and down the road, but her, I haven't seen her in a while. How long would a while be? Mm. Days, months? Day or two. Those okay. crickets be loud as hell. Yeah. When's the last time you've seen the boys? Yesterday. Okay, there's so nobody today. Mm -mm. Have you heard any? Any fighting, anything in the last two days? Any it's loud commotion? Mm -hmm. I know it's would be not abnormal for you to hear yelling and screaming coming from over there. So. No. Nothing. No, no, we're kind of new to the neighborhood too. So yeah. Oh, okay. There's been a lot different things going on here, <laughs> so it's weird. <laughs> we're not used to it. <laughs> no, more, more quiet. Yeah. yeah. He used to live right down there but behind the Circle K in Cleveland, Dalewood. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. nice and man, that's so cool back there. You don't worry about nothing. You know what I mean? It's nice and quiet. I know that all the neighbors tell 50 years, boy. They come up here and, okay, this is just way different for me, but yeah. I'm, I'm doing good. All right. That's all that matters, that you guys are doing good. Yeah. So oh, really? if we hear and it say yeah. anything? Just call the number right there. That's the non-emergency number. If you see Lainey or anything. Yeah, her boys. sister's okay. looking for her and she's not able to get a hold of her, so that's why we're out trying to make contact with her. Yeah. He's probably like in his 30s, I'd say. 30s? Like, yeah. Probably like early, mid-30s, maybe. Okay. Yeah. But uh, he's only been there for like a few weeks because the tent wasn't there. And then the tent showed up and then he was around, so. Right. Any any commotions or anything in the last couple of days no, or before like then? No, yelling or fighting or anything like that. that Nothing. Here. They're pretty quiet for the most part, but. Okay. The most I see out of the dude is just like sometimes he walks up and down the road. Today he was riding a bike. So. Um, do you know what color bike it was? I didn't pay attention. To okay. It. Was it just a bike or a yeah, tricycle? Like a, just like a full size like cycling bike. Okay. Alrighty. Oh man. 
Damn, that bit dead, huh? But I can smell that smell. You got close to the. Yeah. The AC is working. They got everything that got down yard. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I couldn't be a cop. I'm a scary ass nigga. Like, imagine busting somebody's house. You see a goddamn dead bodies and shit, or like they start busting at your ass, start shooting at you and shit. Like, it's, I can cops. So like, being a cop is a danger ass job. Like, man, you know what I'm saying? That's a dangerous ass job. I might go fucking lie. Missouri. What do you see, Jose? Nothing. The kitchen's over there. So, but I can't. Yeah, can a nigga get some privacy shit? After checking the hospitals, deputies returned to the house to continue looking. Oh, I'm just, did you hear us knocking before no. where you knocked out? No, I was sleeping in there. I'm glad you woke up because you're about to come inside. We're looking for mom. Do you have you seen her? She's not around right now. Do you know where she's, she's at? Her sister's asking for her. She's not in any trouble or anything like that. No, I have no idea. When was the last time you saw her? Days ago, where'd she go? He must have thought it was gone or some shit. Is it abnormal for mom to be gone for days at a time? Sometimes. Where does she usually go? Does she have a favorite place where she likes to go when she's not home? Did she tell you anything out of the normal no. when she last time you saw her? No. What happened the last time you guys were together? She gave me a few cigarettes and a little bit of food and uh, some warm soap washed my hands and told me I was going to stay back here. Okay. But you haven't seen mom since then? So. <laughs> Um, when's the last time you text called her or anything like that? Okay. When was the last time you saw dad? A week ago. Do you know where he's staying at? No. I heard that she might have called the cops on him. Yeah, he, he got arrested the 25th of last month. <laughs> For trespassing. Do you know who stays in the tent? Well, that's where I was staying before she came in and come in the house. Oh, she told you you could come? Nigga was... 
You tell me he was staying in a tent while his mom in the house. What the fuck type of shit is this? Whatever it be all right if we just went inside to make sure she's not in there. Huh? I can't tell you no. Okay. But you stay here and it's your mom's house? Then we're looking for mom. So we just want to make sure mom's not stowed away in a closet or something. Dad didn't come back and retaliate for getting arrested or something like that. So, if you're not going to tell me yes or no, then we're just going to peek her head in there real quick and then we'll come back outside. You can lead the way if you're so pleased. You could go in with, you could go in. Just lead us through. Yeah. Do you have a key? No. Why would you lock the door behind you? I just usually do that. So how do you get in? Uh, I don't know. How about this other little door that's over here? It's, uh, it's just barricaded up. With what? Uh, garbage cans and some stuff. So how do you get in the house why did you lock the door? Because I feel like you're fucking with me. What the hell are you <laughs> Jit has made it so how, suspicious. How this looks, right? Yes, so why? So how do you get in the house? Should you lock the door? Well, probably sleep in the tent. Or... Are you not supposed to be in the house? Is that why uh, you lock the door? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. All right, that's fine. We're not worried about that. We just want to make sure. Right now, it's finding mom. That's it. If you know you're not supposed to be here, that's on whatever. We can deal with that at a later point in time. I really don't care about that. Yeah. My main goal is making sure mom's okay, find mom, and do that. That's, that's why we're here for. We're not here for you because yeah. you were sleeping in the bed or whatever. Okay. So, obviously, you went in and unlocked it from the inside. Did you get in? Do you just push that one thing open to get in? Do right. yeah, you mind doing that for us right now? But he for the, he should have stuck. I ain't gonna lie, he should have stuck with the um. He just always locked the door. Like, you know what I'm saying? He made it suspicious, but he should have stuck with it. Cause like, if you know the he killed his mama, bro. Why would you walk them inside, bro? Come on now. I think if you shimmy it into the right, we could be able to just pull it out. So push it into the right. Keep pushing it in. Now try to move it out. And then push it out. There you go. There we go. Damn. Nigga run. <laughs> run, nigga run. We're already in, so we're gonna find out. So. He told me he don't know. Nigga, you know. You're gonna tell me you didn't know mom was in there? Run! Cole, 400 and have you come out here. 431 to 400. 417, 400. I'm gonna need you to come out here. I'm gonna need you to be the bigger issue. Just gonna read you Miranda so you know your rights before anything happens, okay? Alright, so you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used you in court. You understand that so far? So, you have the right to talk to your lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions and have him or her present, present during questioning. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed for you before any questioning if you wish. Do you understand that so far? 
All right, so if you decide to answer any questions without a lawyer present, you still have the right to stop answering at any time. You also have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to your lawyer. Do you understand that? So after being re read these rights, do you still wish to talk to us? Yes, we're not going to ask you any questions at this point in time, bro. Just some, in case. Someone at some point will be Yeah. Man, this is the biggest goofy you ever. The statement you're about to give is the whole truth, but nothing but the truth. When we first got here and talked to you, you said you hadn't seen mom in how long? A few days. A few days. When is is that the actual actual answer, or what's what is the answer you wanna swear to? The last time you saw mom. We were talking around the house here. I mean, you know, I seen her riding a bike and. Uh, she gave me a few cigarettes and stuff and told me to stop back by the house later. And I came to stop back by the house later and we were talking and cleaning up the yard and cleaning up the house and everything. And she told me to stay inside and, and that was a few days ago. But you so said that wasn't the truth, that you weren't supposed to be staying inside. No. Yes, when we talked to you over there, you, okay. I said you're not supposed to be yes, here. That's so. No contact order. Okay. I believe. Do you know if it's still active or no? No, sir. Okay. I imagine it might. I don't know for sure. I figured if she told me I could come and stay with her. And I don't know. Okay. What is there no contact order between you and mom for? We got into the dispute. Um, she said I slapped her, I punched her. So battery? Yes, sir. Okay, domestic stuff. Yes, sir. When's the last time you seen dad? Slap the ass up, huh? Last week, I believe. Okay. What did you, how did your conversation with dad go the last time you saw him? Bad. Bad? It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. How about between mom and dad? Did they talk? Um, the only thing I knew, she told, at that point in time that she got home, she told me and him both to leave. So I left and went walking somewhere and stayed away. Do you know where dad is at currently? No, sir. Do you know if dad has a job? No, sir. And you haven't talked to dad since? That night, yes, sir. That night? Okay. When I guess he got arrested? That's what I heard. And you left, so you, you didn't get arrested? No, sir. Okay. And then your and mom's relationship has been good as of, as of late? Yeah. Did you notice anything different while you've been staying here? Did that not raise any alarm to you? Did you go and check? I did kind of look in there. I'll see, I guess I should really let me know how I cell phone or anything. I should probably say something. So you saw her in the position that she's currently in now? Yes, sir. So why did you tell us that mom wasn't there? Uh, I don't know. Yes. You know better than me, I wasn't the one that did it, so. Yes, sir. Because I smelt her before you ever even came outside, and you're telling me mom's not in there, and you know damn well that she was in there. Yes, sir. And you're lying to me. So why wouldn't you just tell us the truth? We told you from the beginning we weren't there for you. We just wanted to make sure mom and mom was good. Yeah. That's all. So what prompted you to lie to us? Startled. And you, um, when you went in there and checked on her two days ago, did you know that she was deceased? I couldn't say so. I wouldn't say no. Okay, but she was it apparently know. obvious to you that yes, somebody smelling like that wouldn't be yes, somebody sir. who would? Okay. So why didn't you call law enforcement? <sighs> you don't know. He should say he don't have a phone, bitch. I don't got no phone, shit. Any idea why she is deceased? No, what could have happened? No phone. Okay. I really don't. I got you. Well, that will conclude our portion of our interview. Is there anything you wish to add? Change the least. My child fell into a report death to Damn, bro. So like. So, like, did he kill her, or, like, it just because he didn't tell, he didn't tell nobody. He should have seen her on the phone, honestly. But he I, he could have called still off her phone, but 
Damn, bro. Damn. He fucked up for that. You know your mama dad, bro. You got a call, bro. He he just want probably just stay at the house on some shit. Have we discussed anything off tape we have not discussed on tape? No, sir. Alright, that would include. Damn. The statement, the current time is 6.21 p.m. Damn, make sure I like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate y'all watching. Um, He obviously looked like he don't love his mom and the, the, the um sister. Just love him all to death. I don't know how it goes, but hey.